strong back has retracted. Copy that. Proceeding with arming, hold on. So if you may be worrying about the white clouds that you see coming off Stand the rocket back. and some of the ground support equipment. They're actually clouds of really cold oxygen gas coming in contact with the atmosphere. This is totally normal as the electron is fueled with highly refined kerosene and cryogenic liquid oxygen. As electron warms up, it's standard to lose some of our liquid oxygen. Throughout preparation, we continue to top it off so we have the correct levels for flight. Copy. All stations on mission cord. Range is green, auto sequence armed. Copy that, RCO. Flight, uh, sorry, avionics is flight on mission. Flight avionics. Please confirm TVC battery charging is disabled. A quick check in on the Keep countdown. We're three minutes and 30 seconds until our target liftoff for today's mission. Things are starting to ramp up, so I'm going to leave you with the team in mission control for the remainder of the count, and I'll check back in with you shortly after liftoff. In all stations, flight on mission court. From now on, there should be no red flags in your LCCs. LD, flight on mission. Yep, it's LD. Uh, the vehicle is green, ready for flight. Copy. VMS, this is LD on mission court. Go ahead. Please confirm flight computer as goes are green. Uh, we're currently just flicking on the lower bound of the stage one locks mess. Please lock the auto sequence and confirm. Auto sequence is locked. All operators, we are go for auto sequence start at T minus nets. Avionics flight on mission. Flight avionics. Please confirm all AV bats have been switched to internal power. Vehicles on internal power. RCO flight. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, avionics, please confirm stage power disabled on all three stages. Stage power disabled on all three stages. All stations be advised, vehicles now on internal power. PLS flight on mission. PLS copy. Please begin lock skid recirculation. Copy. PLS flight on mission. PLS copies. Please disable anti geysering and confirm. All disabled. Stage 1 flight mission. Flight stage 1. Please confirm stage 1 is pressed. Locks 400, Kira 225. Confirm pressed. And stage 2, please confirm stage 2 is pressed. Locks 365, Kira 205. Stage 2 is pressed. High flying engine purge running. And Gally's running. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Left off the ticket. off the pad for our eighth Electron launch. Soon we'll be approaching the point of the flight where the forces against the rocket are at their peak, otherwise known as max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. 
Let's listen in for that call. HP battery discharge nominal. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching maximum dynamic pressure. Pass through max Q. Brutus has entered flight mode. There you have it. Electron has gone supersonic and has made its way through max Q. Well, now it took through a number of milestones on the way to orbit. Guidance is nominal, 50 seconds remaining. AOS Chatham Station. Page one proportion remains nominal. Stand by for Miko in approximately 30 seconds. Soon the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage will shut off ahead of its separation from the rest of the rocket. Once stage one and stage two have separated, the final vacuum optimized Rutherford engine on Electron's second Interim stage will come to, to life mode. and propel Electron the rest of the way to orbit. Stage one Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. Stage two ignition. Propulsion is nominal. And there it is. Main engine cutoff has been confirmed. And Electron's first and second stages have successfully separated. For the payload to be deployed from the kick stage, first the protective fairing needs to open up and fall away. Things are looking good and propulsion is nominal as we approach fairing separation. Fairing jettison succeeded. The fairing is separated, clearing the way for payload deployment, coming up in approximately 50 minutes from now. Guidance is nominal, altitude is 150 kilometers. Mission Control Icon checking with you at 3 minutes and 45 seconds into flight. Everything is looking great as Electron continues onto orbit. Stage 2 HVB battery discharge is nominal. If you're just joining us for the webcast of Electron's Lookmon No Hands mission, we've had nominal. successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and stage 2 ignition. Electron is looking, looking healthy with a velocity of 10,000 km per hour and an altitude of 220 km. Guidance is nominal. Quick update from Rock Lab Mission Control. Electron's propulsion is nominal ahead of our battery hot swap. 200 seconds remaining.
So we're now at T plus five speed. minutes and 45 seconds since liftoff. And next on the list of mission milestones is the battery hot swap. Electrons, batteries power electric pumps on the yeah, Rutherford engines. Sick. But once we get to this point in the mission, these batteries are depleted and we no longer need them. So we do a quick hot swap from the depleted Being batteries over to another fully charged one to maintain swap. power to the engine and provide a much more efficient ride the rest of the way to orbit. Let's listen in for the call on the hot swap. Throttling down. Hot swap successful. Battery jettison confirmed. Stage 2 propulsion still nominal. As you've just heard, we've had successful battery hot swap. Electron's, electrons trajectory continues to look nominal. So we're approximately a minute and 45 seconds away from kick stage separation. Velocity is 18,000 kilometers per hour and altitude is 304 kilometers. The look mono hands mission continues to look good. HV battery discharge holding nominal. One minute remaining, speed is six kilometers per second, altitude is 310 kilometers. Just a quick update for you here on Rocket Lab's Look Ma No Hands mission. We're about one minute away from kick stage separation and Electron continues nominally. Entering burnout to tech mode. Twenty seconds remaining. Guidance is in terminal. Five seconds. Engine shut down. Good transfer, what achieved?